Good morning and welcome to this Peugeot Expert 1.6 HDI van. Uh, one owner from new, 90 horsepower, uh, five speed manual with 128,000 miles on the clock. Uh, with uh, MOT until September 2019 and a service printout and a service book with some stamps in it. But this is a one company owner, one local company that uh, generally looks after their vehicles well. They run a biggish fleet. This is the one that's been defleeted. And I've driven it 50 miles now. I can report that there is a gearbox issue. It's a crunch from first to second. It's probably synchro mesh. Uh, it's pretty minor. I wouldn't let see it as too big a problem, but this van will be priced appropriately. It has uh, central locking. Sadly, just one key at the moment. A spare may arrive, but don't bank on it. It's just got the standard non-remote uh, key. It is a twin side sliding door model. Uh, the clutch feels good. The brakes feel good, although when we put it on the ramp, the front brake pads are low, so it will need a front set of brake pads soon. Bodywork wise, it's pretty good. It's uh, pretty straight and clean. It has got the residual glue and markings where the previous uh, company's decals were. And the barn doors, when open, reveal a nice big loading space with a steel bulkhead and a ply lined boot. The spares under the back, the wheel brace and jack is there. Um, we've had a look at this van on the ramp and bar for a bit of dryness at the back, which we've uh, soaked with some. Uh, decent uh, diesel sludge diesel oil just to soak into the uh, dry spots uh, all the brake lines look good the CV gators look good uh, the engine was nice and dry underneath I did take a few photos if you really want to see them um, I think that was about it really there's yes, nothing to majorly report set of brake pads on the front looming pretty soon um, it drives very well this little gear change first to second is just a bit of an irritation but obviously some people might be scared of it. But then when you're buying a 128,000 mile van, you are just uh, a knife edge away from total catastrophe anyway, really. It's all a bit, a bit of luck. But uh, with one owner and a long MOT, and when you drive it, you'll feel that it's, it feels a good van. Uh, big pockets in the doors, nice big uh, storage space above the, uh, or in the, in the cab here, massive space there. Um, pedal rubbers, pretty good order. There's a lovely big Varta battery in there. I mean, they're not cheap, it's relatively new, I'd imagine. It has had a cam belt, 116,000 miles on the printout. The cam belt has been done, which is good news. It's pretty tidy. Fingertip control hi fi. Okay. Uh, doesn't really smell bad in here. The floor rubbers are in good order. Uh, no air con obviously and the screen's good and the wipers clear well they're all in good order tire wise let's have a look at those this tire here well he's got about 20% uh, left in him I should think not far off gone uh, this one here lovely loads of tread what make is that? is that a good branded name uh, Avon Avon tire plenty of rubber on that one 80% to go this one here V, but uh, anyway, about 70% to go on that one. And this one, whoo, look at that lovely big commercial wheel and tyre, probably an 80 quid tyre there. Absolutely tons of tread. So, side sliding doors, both sides, big barn doors at the back, 1.6 diesel, one owner, pretty tidy. Electric windows will work, manual mirrors. Uh, we've got service book, we've got owner's manual, no spare key at the moment, height adjustable steering column which moves up and down and in and out. Uh, glove box, well the little one of the hinges is just broken on the glove box, no great shakes that, it does stay closed. There is an illumination in there as well so if you've got the lights on at night that, that does light up. Cup holders, plenty of cup holders, about three or four lots of those. Headrests, but not a builder's van. A light commercial use vehicle. Okay. So really, set of brake pads, a spare key to find, 250 quid a year tax, long MOT, and a gearbox that just slightly notches into first, then into second, 
now and again, not every time, if you drive it gently, I reckon there's bags of life left in it before you've got to spend that money. But, you know, let's be honest, uh, it's a used van. They're all like it at some point as they're getting older. But it's a useful tool. Thanks for watching. Hope that explains the van fully to you. I'm located here in the centre of Bath, just by the set, uh, Sainsbury's petrol station at the bottom of Broom Hayes. BA23EH.